for Game 2 tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. Both teams feeling themselves out in Game 1. Here we go. They're back at it again. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building. And we are underway. Quick pass to McDavid. Sends the pass over. Stones him in front. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Dreisaitl's tape-to-tape -tape zone ability means he can complete those firm, crisp passes that help keep the play moving. He's so effective at distributing the puck and setting up his teammates. And he takes the feed. Los Angeles has the puck. The Oilers going to work on offense. And that's deflected off someone in front. Slides the puck across to Kopitar. Sends it in deep. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Big play inside the defensive zone. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. The Kings will start off on the attack after winning the draw. That knocks them off the puck. Quick feed to Deneau. And that was off a player in front. Turns it aside with the glove. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Los Angeles wins the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. With some open space at center. The Kings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Picked off by Nugent Hopkins. Gives him a tap with the stick, and the referees don't like it. And that one's turned away. Let's get the call here. Well, he's going to sit two minutes for the slashing call here. He's hacks and lacks his way to the box. I mean, this is a deserved penalty. Everyone saw it. Edmonton's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Kopitar's won a big draw on their own end. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And his teammate comes up with it. Moves it quickly over to the side. And Glenn rolls out as he came up with a nice stop there. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Kopitar's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they get that puck down the ice. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Takes the shot. He scores! And they could James, he's the benefactor of a great passing play. I mean, incredible vision to be able to land that puck right on his stick. But then he's got to do something with it, right? He's got to read where the goaltender is, and he's got to hit the back of the net. Edmonton's talked a lot about getting off to good starts, and look at this, case in point right here. Well, yeah, you get up by one goal early in the game, and it just creates momentum all around your bench. Everyone gets on the ice. They want to contribute. They want to be the one to get the goal on the board and continue to increase this lead. I think they've been real effective to start this game. Oh, it stays out. He's got a piece of that one. Goaltender spends so much time. They score!
still in the early stages of this period. The Oilers now lead by two. Edmonton's won the faceoff at center. Takes the feed. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Gavrikov. Just a simple save by Skinner. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. McDavid's won it off the faceoff. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Great pass from off the right side. Oh, just goes off his glove and it stays out. And it's a quick pass to Anderson Dolan. Great heads up play with the stick by CeCe. The Oilers play it along the boards. Oh, what a slick stop by Talbot. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. The Kings play it along the boards. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Oilers will play it in their own end. And now it's over to Eckholm. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Perry. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Talbot. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Fogel stick handling in his own zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Kings gain possession in their own end. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Takes it from the right side. Scooped up along the wall by Fiala. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. The Oilers have it from their own end. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. And here comes the judgment from the official. The Kings are being called for tripping. Kovacar is a big name for this club, and they rely on him to generate offense. McDavid's greatest asset is his speed. His wheel zone ability means he can really fly when he's got the space to move. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. And he loses control of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Mubarare. LA's got the puck against the boards. Up along the wing. Moves it to the middle. some gymnastics at its finest. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Oh, stick save and a few. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Deneau's almost ready to get back on the ice. The Oilers run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. A tremendous job by the PK units, James, to get out there and show hard work. This is exactly... It's in! He scores! Well, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. Los Angeles has a little pep in their step as they get back to center ice here, Cheryl. Well, and sometimes after an ugly start, you have to reset, have good habits, and they've stayed the course here, James, and they've got themselves within one. Picked up along the boards by Yanmar. Let's it go from the slot. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. They are really dialed in here tonight. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Nugent Hopkins brings it in from center. And that goes off the face of the goaltender. That's not a header in soccer, but is a shot off the mask. Either way, it's a save. Past the midway mark of the frame. LA's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. 
Moves it to Fiala. Feeds it over to Moore. Shot. Oh, nice stop with the glove by Skinner. The Oilers have put a lot of pucks on net here in the first, and they continue to lead. McLeod's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Dayarnay's got the puck in his own zone. Feeds it to McLeod. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Moves the puck to Perry. Dumps the puck in. LA's got the puck. Directed over to England. Takes it and looks ahead. Quick feed to England. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Great pass off the boards. That's sent in deep, and the forwards will change. Taken along the wall by England. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. LA's got it across the line. Fialo's got it along the boards. The Oilers have it now. Moves it quickly over to Brown. Pushes it across to Kellyev. Across the line along the left wall. Los Angeles has the puck in the corner. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Directs it on over to Brown. Takes possession. LA's got the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. The Oilers take it along the wall. Great reach with the poke check. Quick pass to Kopitar. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. There's a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Here in the late goings of the period, Edmonton's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Nugent Hopkins wins the faceoff. Feeds the puck over to Kane. Into the attacking area from the left side. The Oilers will play for the goal. Here's a short pass to Byfield. Gets the puck in deep. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides it quickly to CeCe. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Kopitar. LA's through center and now in the offensive end. Moves the puck down low. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Feeds the puck across to CeCe. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Los Angeles looks to go on the attack. Moves it to Dubois. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Oh, what a chance. He came so... Oh, this looks dangerous. Passes it over. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Oilers are holding down the lead here late in this first period. They have looked really good offensively so far. Deneau's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. B to the middle, and that's stopped. And now it's grabbed by Spence. Locks him. Picked up along the wall by England. Makes a save, cool and calm under pressure. Here in the late going of the frame, the Oilers are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Edmonton's taking possession in their own end. Uses the force on that hit. Moves it around along the half wall. Big save. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save, no rebound to boot. Play ready to 
resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Inside the final minute of the first here. Slick feed. There's a collision with some authority. Works it across to McLeod. Los Angeles has it in their own zone. Dubois taking it from his own end. LA's got it into the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Dubois. Fires it. Oh, how did he stop that one? Wow. Skinner's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Do you know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for our team player awards are available in the concourse in the lower seating level. Defensive end. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Stretches one out to McLeod. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. Quick pass to Kane. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Broken up with the stick. Down the left wing across into the offensive end. Toss it up on the play. Los Angeles will play the puck from the corner. Hey, look at this, two on one. Across the line. Digging in defensively to stop that rush. LA's in now. Makes his presence known on the ice. And he handles a cross ice pass. Here's a short pass to Deneau. Oh, the officials saw that trip and the hand is up. Here comes the sentence. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have one goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. L.A. sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Tucked away. Slides it over with pace to Nugent Hopkins. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Routine save made by Talbot. And he serves it across to Kopitar. He carries the puck up along the wing. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. LA's gained possession along the boards. Center and feed! And that carries a lefty on the iron! The Kings are working hard to get back in this game. They wire went off the post, but they're generating offense. The coach, the staff, the entire team needs to stay confident here. They're generating the looks. They just have to find a way to execute. Kopitar is ready for the draw on this man advantage. Oh, 
LA's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And a solid save there as we play on. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Tucks out of the way. What pressure here in the offensive end. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much needed rest. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and out willing everyone around you. Face off coming up. They can smell blood here, I think. Yeah, they need to put their foot on the gas pedal because they recognize that the goaltender, he was under seas, James, and he really didn't get a chance to get much rest. Grabs the puck. Especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one. Stars, and we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've shown throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. Well, the backhander is going to beat the goaltender on this one, James. But I, what I love about it is the effort to get to that area, that low slot area. You know you're going to have to pay the price. You're going to have to fight for position. He does all of it, and he gets rewarded. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Quick shot! And that doesn't reach the net. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Nugent Hopkins has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. Los Angeles jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack. And he denied him there. Nugent Hopkins plays it now. Takes a shot. Oh, it's a nice look with the paddle save. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. And he stopped that one. Moves it to McDavid. Knocked away in the offensive zone. LA's got a hold of the puck. He's going to play it against the half wall. Takes the pass. Quick feed to Anderson Golden. Deneau's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Moore. The Kings work it through center. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Los Angeles gains a hold of possession. And he feeds it down to Roy. Pass across to Moore. Cuts into the paint. And there's the save. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Make it change, make it change. And he takes the pass. Great reach with the stick by Fogel. Picks off the pass. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We are all tied up in this one. McDavid's gained possession inside the neutral zone. And now he moves it to Hyman. Solid check to slow him down. Sends it quickly to McDavid. Gaining momentum along the boards. Here's the pass.
that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Oilers find themselves a big-time goal here in the back half of the second. Well, that's a huge goal, James, because it's opportunistic. They haven't had many shots on net. They haven't had possession, but they find a way to capitalize when it counts. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers played along the wing. Here's the puck from off the back pass. Great reach with the poke check. Across the line from center. Oh, solid save by Skinner. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. The Oilers take it across the line. Flashes the leather. What a save by Talbot. More than half the frame has been played here. Edmonton's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. LA's won the defensive zone draw. Gaining momentum along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Gagne. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Yeah, Mark's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. The Kings really need to find a way to start finishing on some of these scoring chances because they trail here in the middle. LA's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's got it against the boards. Now a quick pass to CeCe. Back to the blue line. That's a beautiful pass saved by the goalie there. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Los Angeles takes possession off the draw. Moves it to the middle. Moves the puck. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Scooped up along the wall by Muberare. Takes the feed. Handles the pass. Quick pass to Dowdy. The Kings move to the offensive zone. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Through center along the wing. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Broken up at center by Nurse. Slides it on over to McDavid. Takes it to the net. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Puck dumped in. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And that's kicked out from the scrum. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. A chance in front. Oh, and it comes up with a stop. There's a chance in front. Dishes it off again here. What a chance, but they can't get it. Way too much congestion blocks that. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Takes the feed. Moving into the attacking zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And he slides it quickly to England. Gaining momentum up along the side. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. Skinner's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Here's a short pass to Yanmar. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Talbot. Play is blown dead with the offside. Here in the late goings of the period, Edmonton's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. The Oilers take control of the faceoff. Takes the puck at the point. And that's broken up. 
And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Turned aside with the glove. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Gagne's won the draw there on the attack. Here's a shot! Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away! Puck picked up in the open ice. Pass on front! If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Edmonton's now gone up by two here in the late going to the second. And this is a nice place to be here, Cheryl. It's exactly where they want to be, and they won't want to sit back. They'll want to continue to push right through to the end of the period. They've got that nice, healthy cushion. They don't want to give it away. Moves it to CeCe. Handles the puck. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Passes on over to McLeod. Quick feed to Fogel. Sends it in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Receives the pass. Scores! Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow! He almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. I can't believe the time he had to walk into that one, James. He just lets it rip. Slap shot, low stick side, and beats the goalie clean. The Kings will look to build on some momentum here before the period closes out after that goal. They need to continue that momentum as it nears the end of the second, and they want to carry that energy into the intermission. Real important that they can have an opportunity to collect themselves and come out strong in the third. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Welcome back, James Sabowski, ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. It has been an offensive fireworks display here tonight, and I would expect it to continue here in the third. Turcotte's been nabbed for tripping. set to roll on as the setters get ready for the face-off. The Oilers win the draw. Blocked in traffic. Tries to get the puck over to Lewis. 
The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Here's a chance! Talbot's got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here, just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Lots of time left in this period. The Oilers have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight. They lead it 4-3. The Kings' PK unit delivers in a big way. That's another great job on the PK, James, knowing exactly where to be at the right times and knowing what your opponent is thinking. And real effective job there. Roy's moving the puck through his own zone. And here's the pass to Fiala. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Nurse. Into the offensive zone. Fires it on net. Oh, that's off the blocker. What a stop by Talbot. Great pressure to burst the turnover by Nugent Hopkins. And now he moves it quickly to Moore. The Kings cross the blue line and are on the attack. And it's a quick pass to Fiala. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Gains the zone along the right wall. And that's knocked away by Kavrikov. LA's got it in their own zone. Into the offensive end now. We got a whistle offside to call. The Oilers lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Dubois won the draw. Quick pass to Anderson Dolan. Shot! of robbery with the stick. Battle along the wall. LA's got the puck. Here's a short pass to England. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. The Kings have the puck now. Good stand-up hit. Now a quick pass to Fogel. He's got a stick. Oh, it's a pass on the play. Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. in the period. Edmonton's clinging to this 4-3 lead. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. He says, let's get physical on that play. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. The Kings will play it in their own end. And that's taken by the defense. To the attacking area. Stoppage and play offside the call. Edmonton's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense and they lead here in the third. Grabbed in the open ice by Kulak. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Moves it to Byfield. The Oilers have it now. Kulak's got it in the defensive end. To McLeod. Take it along the wall by Fogo. Sends a pass over. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure. You're under attack. Really under siege. And you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Won it in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Dowdy. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Shot! Gets a piece of it with the glove. Puck sent over to Lazat. LA's on the attack. Shot! Big stop right there. And we got a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's a one-goal game here. 4-3 is where we sit. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Big time stop. 
Hooks it in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Hooks it away here in the neutral zone. Los Angeles takes hold of the puck. Slides the puck across to Moore. Oh, he'll steal that one. And they'll dump it in. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Moore. Takes the pass in the offensive zone. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Puck grabbed by CeCe. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. But sometimes a simple set on a power play is the most effective, James. We saw it earlier. When you've got shooters, players that can just whip a bomb from the point, you want to make sure you got them set up and teed up along the blue line. But it doesn't work unless you get net front presence. you got to get eyes in front of the tender. And a textbook bad save there. Slides it to Nugent Hopkins. Here's a shot. Oh, what a denial by Talbot. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Hyman's got it along the wing. Good time stuff by Talbot. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Deneau's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. McLeod's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Puck cleared from the defensive end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. On the attack along the boards, Los Angeles will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. Time to execute here on this power play. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Comes up with the stop. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. Oh, great work getting the puck out of the zone. James, I tell you, this is my bread and butter. I never saw power play time, but I saw a ton of PK time. And you knew when that puck was on your stick, you had to clear it, not only to get fresh legs on the ice, but now you can contest the neutral zone and defend the blue line on entry. That is the critical piece to any PK unit. Quick pass across to Deneau. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. And loses possession after a solid hit. Moves it to Perry. The Oilers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Pinned up along the boards. Taken by Kane. Oh, and it goes just over the net. What a chance right there. That's attack. on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice, he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. The Oilers are all smiles on the bench now here in period number three, holding down a two-goal lead. Well, it's been a competitive game, and now they sit in control here with that two-goal lead, James, in the back half of the third period. Now it's about managing the puck. I expect them to play a little safer, but expect a push from their opponent. Coughs up possession of the puck. And he takes the dish. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he takes the feed. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. Misses. Looking for options along the wall. Slides the puck over. Scrum along the wall. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it on over to Brown. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. LA's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. Wax it into the offensive zone. Slides the puck over to Brown. Broken up by Dubois. Los Angeles has it in their own zone. Dumps it in. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Feeds the puck to CeCe. And he slides it quickly to Gagne. Slittering feed! And that doesn't connect. Puts it on net. LA's gained possession. Gaining steam here on the attack. Los 
Angeles gets a hold of it. And he slides it quickly to McDavid. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Rough save made by Talbot. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Delos, quick stick off the draw, wins possession. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. That's blocked by Skinner. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Who had the edge in Carlin Babe's mind? She's standing by with the answer. McDavid's had a great showing, and you can see it on the score sheet, guys. He even used his zone ability to help get him there. Quick feed to Deneau. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Stop by the goaltender. Skinner's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. LA's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Oilers have it now. He uses the boards with the bank pass. Handles the puck from the left side. And that shot goes nowhere as the line was filled. And pumps the puck loose inside the offensive end. And that's turned aside. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards. Oh, and a nice play to free up the puck there. The Oilers take it along the wing. Poked away by Doughty. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And that goes off course off a body. Picked up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers played along the boards. Here he is in front. That's gloved by Talbot. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes the stop. The Oilers haven't stopped putting pucks on net, and they lead it here late in the third. And a solid job tying up his opponent. The Kings gain the zone. Puck scooped up by Byfield. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Misses. LA's gained possession along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Turcotte. Touch to the point. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. LA's got a hold of it along the wall. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Wide open net. And into the wide open cage. It's an empty net goal. to distribute James but it's easier said than done you're under pressure there's traffic but every single time he's got pinpoint accuracy and delivers right to his teammate stick the Oilers offense has paid off in dividends tonight no short of the scoring chances and they have capitalized on many Los Angeles wins the face off in the neutral zone